All right, today I have a Gary V untouched, low cap, hidden treasure, whatever you want to call it. This is a project that a lot of most people can afford right now. And Gary V is getting behind it 100%. And I'm going to show you how he's doing it. All right, so real quick before we go into the video, I want everybody to please subscribe to this channel, uh, hit the like button. Go tell a friend, knock on your neighbor's door, you know, make them watch the video, whatever you got to do. Help us out. It's a free, easy way to support the channel, and uh, we definitely appreciate it. All right, so let me get back into the video. Crypto Skulls. If you've never heard about it, I'm going to tell you why you never heard about it. It is the oldest, second only to Crypto Punks PFP NFT drop on Ethereum. So it came out in 2019. CryptoPunks beat it out before, you know, but this is, according to many, the second drop on Ethereum, PFP drop on Ethereum, generative drop on Ethereum. And it has been basically untouched and hidden from people for a long, long time. Art is fantastic. It definitely reminds you of uh, 80s, 80s vibe. Um, crypto punks it also it's pixelated it's uh, randomized skulls skulls that may have a different color may have a scar may have a hat may have hair may have bones going across them like the skull and bones backgrounds might be a little different all kind of things it's if you haven't checked the art out I'm gonna put the link in the description go check it out but what I found really interesting about this project is Gary V has been building hype slowly very similar to what he did with CryptoPunks. For those of you who don't know, Gary Vee was behind the CryptoPunk pump and got a lot of his friends involved in the project in the same time. So uh, when he says things like he, I'm about to explain what he was saying about crypto. When he says these kind of things about a project, I'm definitely listening. And if I can scoop one up, I'm definitely scooping one up. So a long time, I say a long time ago, a few months ago, I heard Gary Vee on a podcast say something really random, said it, and then moved on. He said, yeah, it's not out of question that I, I might find a project, you know, that's been kind of dead for a while and resurrect it, one, an older project that people forgot. He said it, and then he moved on and kept talking about whatever he was talking about. I thought that was interesting. Fast forward to today. He has uh, now publicly come out and said that he is behind Crypto Skulls. Very, very interesting. It, and uh, Crypto Skulls right now, the floor's around 0 0.9, 0 0.9 Ethereum. Um, so it's definitely not at the price range of like uh, Crypto Punks or anything like that. It's a pre-Crypto Punk pump price. God, it's a lot of peas. Um, so some of the things he's saying about this project that he loves so much, he actually said in all 40 years of him collecting things. Now, he's a collector of baseball cards. Uh, he's a collector of comic books, of movies, of VHS cassette tapes, of figuring toys, of NFTs. And all his years of collecting, 40 years of collecting things, this thing got him going more than anything he said. This one, this Crypto Skulls got his adrenaline pumping like no other collectible ever, according to his words. And by the proof, I'm going to put the link in the description of the podcast that he's talking about Crypto Skulls in. It'll be in the description. So make sure if you don't believe me, go check out the link and listen to Gary say it himself. Um, all right, so the other things he said, it checks all my boxes. It checks all of his boxes. Collectability, art, uniqueness, team, utility, all those things, it checks those boxes. Uh, and it's extremely affordable compared to a board Ape and a CryptoPunk. Extremely, under one Ethereum. So... The project itself is ran by one dev from Russia. Gary Vee's from Russia. Huh. One dev from Russia. He's been building the community organically slowly, but he's a one-man band. He's a one-man band. 
Um, so he's he, the, the project came out in 2019 and it minted. And obviously, if you were around in 2019 in crypto, there wasn't a lot of action. There was no buzz. It wasn't like it is today. People were not talking about NFTs. That was pre-2021, the pre, the hype of the bored apes and every, and the, the pig, and the pigs and the, every other animal that was minting in 2019. That was pre all of the, that hype. This was back during crypto kitties and crypto punks when no one even knew what the heck an NFT was. So the project kind of fizzled out, but the team never gave up. And so somebody text uh, Gary in the middle of the night, according to him, 4 a.m., said, hey, you gotta check this thing out. He gets up, starts researching it, immediately falls in love, throws tons of money at the project, buys several of them, buys, I think, the most rare, the rarest one, which is like, I don't know, I think it's like a $200,000 for the rarest, the number one rare, I believe, don't quote me on that. Um, and in their Discord, Gary V's a whale. He's one of the whales in the project. There are several, several other whales. I'm telling you guys, this project is bubbling right now. It's at that critical mass point where it's about to explode. The only place to go is up situation with this project. I, I really like it. Uh, a couple of other things, the DAO, the project does have a DAO. It's got over, I think, four or five million dollars in skulls in it that the, the developer gave to the DAO. They, and then the community actually votes on what to do with these skulls. Interesting. And here's why I believe, a lot of DAOs say that kind of stuff and they never do it, right? But when Gary V's behind it, I believe it because he's not going to put his name on something that's going to go, you know, it's going to go wet the bed on us. You know what I mean? So uh, it's definitely going to be one of those ones to watch. Let me fix my phone. Um, another, uh, uh, let's see, a couple of other things. Yeah, that 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 Dow thing is very interesting. One thing that recently happened is they just dropped the blood vials, the blood vials where you can now demonize, I don't know if I can say this word correctly. Basically your skull can become a demonic skull with the blood vials. Um, and you can do, I think it's like one or th one up to three vials on one skull. The more you use, the rare sc uh, skull you'll get. Um, so you can pick a skull up and a blood vial up on OpenSea. Um, the the actual skull floor is under one ETH now. It's under one ETH now. I here's my prediction. My prediction for this project is it will reach prices of crypto punks one day. It is going to. Another thing that Gary V says is the projects pre 2021 if you can find those gems the projects pre 2021 before the hype he says those are going to hit so much differently and so much more than the projects that are going to come out this year next year and into the future so we all heard about you know baseball card babe ruth baseball card still worth the most right you, you, you if you get those old school baseball cards from the 1920s and the 1930s they're worth a lot more than the ones coming out today the same principle applies to these and with the gary v signature on a project you can't go wrong look at v friends look at the look at the book games look at the vcon tickets look at crypto punks that's one that he put his name on and got all his friends to to get invested in I'm going to be doing a deeper dive on this project periodically. Full disclosure, I bought three. I have three of these skulls. Three of these skulls. So um, I'm not I'm not letting them go until they go to the moon, if I even ever let them go. If I ever let them go. I'm going to put the descriptions to all these, uh, these open sea stores, the open sea stores, the blood valves, the crypto skulls themselves, and that link to that Gary V video in the description. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, make sure you're subscribing to this. You guys have a blessed day. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.